Wow. Did that really just happen? Absolutely. David Benavidez stops violently Demetrius Andre. Classic fight. Great night. But wait. There's more. The surprise kicker. Demetrius Andre weighed almost 200 pounds. Find out more in this video. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Well, I just watched the classic. Demetrius Andrade loses to David Benavidez. Congrats to both fighters, especially the winner, David Benavidez, who knocked out Andrade. He was forced to retire on his stool in six rounds. I will do a deeper dive into the actual fight. So this is your chance to subscribe to the channel. This video is not going to be exactly that. You got to come back for that. I'll work on it and then put the video up where I really break down the fight. But what I seen tonight was phenomenal. Showtime, this is their last card on pay-per-view, and it definitely delivered. Thoroughly exciting. I enjoyed really all the fights. I mean, some people complained about the Lamont Roach, Hector Luis Garcia fight. I didn't think it was bad, um, especially when you think about like the Shakur Stevenson fight last week that was lackluster. Subriel Matias, he's a beast. Jamal Charlo, I thought he looked very good versus Jose Benavidez. And then the main event absolutely delivered with David Benavidez providing a crushing loss to Demetrius Andrade, who fought very valiantly in game in the early rounds. As I like to say, perfect fight, perfect night. I'm about to go to in and out Burger. But one thing that I seen, Demetrius Andrade, for this fight, he was working with Snack. We've seen fighters work with Snack and then have these big opportunities. One that comes to mind was Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence Jr. And just like Andrade, Mikey Garcia lost that fight. But in this Andre fight, he was in the Bay Area, working with Snack, looked like he trained hard. And I noticed at the weigh-in, he looked pretty big. Like, he looked like he had bulked up. Come to find out, on fight night, they have him almost 200 pounds, right? ESPN talked to Victor Conti. It says, Demetrius Andrade rehydrated to 190 pounds Victor Conti tells ESPN, quote, we want him big tonight. This is our plan. Bully the bully and dance like Ali, Muhammad Ali, of course. Andre's second fight at 168 pounds. He and David Benavidez in the ring follow along for the live coverage, right? So he told you that Andre was 190, 190, which is really close dangerously close to 200 pounds which is why you've seen that in the title so that to me makes what david benavidez did truly even more impressive now benavidez was a bit taller i don't know exactly how much he rehydrates to because they didn't do any kind of unofficial weigh-in but to find out that andrade was game he's a southpaw and that they game plan to have him almost 200 pounds and then he gets badly stopped and dropped and hurt and forced to kind of retire on the stool that made the mexican monster performance stand out even more at least to me i think that's crazy i don't know what i was thinking you know in terms of what andre should be but i knew he fought in january and that was his first fight at 168. And when I look at the pictures, like in the buildup when he was training, he looked pretty bulky. Like it looked bigger than I had really seen all the videos where Andre was training with the shirt off paws and stuff like that. He just looked bigger than I remember seeing him for any other fight. And he acquitted himself very well early in the fight. But to go from yesterday's weigh-in weight of 167 pounds to 190, when you look at how much Andre weighed the day before, he weighed 167.6. So if he ballooned up to 190 pounds, that's almost 23 pounds that he rehydrated overnight. And that's not the easiest to do. So it's it's kind of weird, to, to be honest, that you would almost go up almost 25 pounds, 23, 25 pounds for this fight. But I guess they felt that would make him more durable. Now, I tell you guys, 
that even in the the build up to this fight and on my watch party i told you your chin is your chin a lot of people think by going to snack or um merely putting on weight putting on muscles that is going to automatically make you more durable and resistant like almost as if it's an armor and that's not really the case you're you're born with the chin you have like you look at amir khan and he's notoriously known for not having the best chin he was getting clipped at 140 pounds by Danny Garcia and the Bradis Prescotts. And I've seen him get dropped and hurt by Julio Diaz and just different things like that. I seen him get hurt by Chris Algieri, who's not even a big puncher at 147. So the point I'm making is when you look at a guy like Amir Khan, that's why I was so against the fight with Canelo Alvarez, because it really made no sense. Canelo got a hell of a chin and Amir Khan doesn't. And they were happening to fight at a catch weight of 155, meaning Amir Khan had to move up to new territory. So by the time, and there was no rehydration clause, by the time that's all said and done, Canelo was going to be way too big and strong for him. And even though Amir Khan did well in the first four rounds or so, ultimately what happened, he got not, the snot knocked out of his nose and bodied by Canelo Alvarez. So I don't really understand this whole like move up, like, even Jermail Charlo, he thought he could just move up and beat Canelo 14 pounds higher. You look at Kell Brook, he did all this bulking up. And I remember he was in the UK at all these like labs and just different state of the art equipment for the Triple G fight. And he got his orbital broken. You know what I'm saying? Mikey Garcia, he snacked up, went to snack, and then he loses to Errol Spence and gets bludgeoned in that fight. And then now you see it with Andre. So hopefully these fighters realize that, you know, it's a process. It's a process to move up in weight. David Benavidez was just too big and too strong. And again, I don't know exactly how much he weighed, but Andre coming in at 200, that's, that's just unique for the game plan, which is why I wanted to share and make this video. All in all, this was a star making performance by David Benavidez. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the card especially the main event as well. And David Benavidez, a star is born. He took his time. He was patient. And I'm not going to give you too much because I told you guys got to come back for the actual breakdown video. I'm going to give my voice a rest, go to in and out grab a bite to eat. I've been working hard. Shout out to everybody that joined the watch party, left donations, cash apps, PayPal, Zells. I couldn't get to all of them. Um, shout out to the people who just came to the watch party, left a like. You know, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll keep hitting you off with the, the best content in YouTube, all your boxing news. This is your one-stop shop. But I found it very interesting that Boo Boo Andre, the game plan was to have the guy who was in his third weight class bulk up. So they knew that Benavidez was durable and that he was strong. So I guess their game plan was to have Andre bulk up and, you know, try to outweigh him and bully the bully. But it didn't last as soon as he got hurt in the fourth round it was like the beginning of the end and he even had some rounds in there where the ref was like yo if you give me another round like that i gotta call the fight and the doctors were checking on him and whatnot all in all very good fight interesting about the choice of weight that they had him come in and rehydrate to let me know your thoughts impressive stuff by benavidez and i'm out introducing super thanks Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode.
The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.